Fingers crossed, guys. What in the world? So today, let's just go ahead and jump into what I want to talk about. So I've updated the pack. Unfortunately, it completely destroyed my bestiary. Um, all of my creatures I have learned are completely gone. That's to be kind of expected when you're you're updating packs like this. Um, but unfortunately, you know, with that gone, my summoning staff doesn't really work like it's supposed to. It will let me still summon things, but you can see that it's really weird on how it does it, and it doesn't seem to want to work properly like it's supposed to. So unfortunately, that's broken. <laughs> All this stuff seems to be breaking slowly. Um, I, and then, honestly, the changes, I don't know uh, if the changes that were made were, I don't know, worth worth even changing. But, um, anyways, I went ahead and took the risk to update, and uh, I definitely regret it. Uh, <laughs> but, I do want to go ahead and go over something that I think will completely break this pack anyways. Um... I say break, but we'll obviously open up more skills and things like that quicker. Uh, and it's something that you can easily do because it's a vanilla mechanic. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out a little bit of an area here. And of course, you can leave your lights and anything or whatever you have nearby. You just need an area that's going to keep you relatively cool. Um, you're also going to need a little bit of space and some coverage. You're also probably going to want to cover up any holes because these torches, I just had to replace them. They do burn out. Um, so torches don't last forever unless you find some regular vanilla torches, which in, in my case I have laying around here. I think these are regular vanilla torches and they should not burn out. So we're going to need a note block and not a trap door. That's an old design. We are going to need some iron though because we're going to make a regular iron door. So we're going to need a note block, a regular iron door, a little bit of redstone. You're also going to need a building level that's going to need to be a little bit high. Uh, round four should work. Uh, we'll go ahead and place down our door. We're also going to need some tripwire hooks. We're going to have to worry about making those here in a minute. Uh, but that shouldn't be too difficult. You're also going to need a little bit of building material. Uh, you can pretty much make it out of whatever you want, but I'm just going to go with wood for right now. Um, I think this actually has to go down... No, this 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 fits right. And behind this is behind this door is going to go a note block. Just like that. On top of that, you're going to put a, a block on top of it, just so it doesn't make noise. Um, we're also going to extend off the back. I am going to take a bit more of this. But yeah, we're pretty much going to be making a fishing farm, so... I hope you guys are ready for that. This will definitely help and uh, aid some of you guys that are potentially playing on servers and things like that. This will make it a bit more fun. So, right here, we have all that set up. I think what we really need is a hopper down on that bottom section and a chest. We'll take a couple of these chests, which shouldn't even be like this. I don't even know how they got these chests to go like that. This isn't 113. Let's go ahead and get this. We'll get ourselves a hopper. And we'll connect that into this chest here. So this is the the tried and or I say tried and true. But this is your like normal design for 112 when it comes to fishing farms. This design kind of right here. So we get that placed. Alright, so we are gonna need to bring this up another level. Right here. And that's where our tripwire hooks are going to go, and then we'll have a dabble of redstone right here. That's just going to activate the door. Um, and let's go ahead and get our tripwire hooks and our string. String. And luckily in here, let's go trip. I believe I remember the recipe, but I don't normally make these in vanilla. These are very rarely used in my case. Ooh, look at that. We got some extra stick on that one. Oh, did I... I break... Oh, you can break that into sticks. Oh, I didn't even know that. Looky there. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. So, yeah. A couple of this, that, and we get the tripwire hooks. So, very simple. Like, I built this in just, like, a matter of seconds. 
place the two tripwire hooks here and here. And then right on top of this, not there, but, but here, you can break that string. You just need a piece of string here. And then you just need your water and a couple of slabs. Like a slab goes right here, you can still open up your chest. But you're going to be fishing right here anyways. Um, we also need to probably take this down one. Because this will be the height at which we're standing. And uh, might as well make it fancy. Why not? Make it at least look somewhat okay. And there we go. We'll be standing right about here. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we will need to f make sure we're focusing right on here. And place our bucket of water right in there. And we're pretty much ready to go. Ah, I forgot one thing. That needs to go there. <laughs> I think that's the issue. There we go. And now we have an AFK fishing farm. So yeah, we just needed that one slab right there on the very top. I almost forgot about that. And that's what kind of holds our fishing rod in place. So what you can do is you can just set something on your keys for right now. I mean, if anything, you're going to end up dying in the world if something was to, you know, come and find you. Um, but as you can see, we just ha caught a fish. Um, and if we don't catch it, it should go in the hopper that is directly below us. Um, and that should retrieve our items. But we're also going to gain experience from this. So a quick, easy way to gain experience, say you're on a server and you want to AFK fish farm, this is a good way to do so, uh, unless they have like an auto kick function. Uh, but this is a good tip. You can sit here and just AFK fish farm for a little while and uh, see what you come up with. So after we got that, I think I'll, I can do a little bit of AFK fishing. I just won't do it right now. We have some other things that I really want to do, and that is go back down in our mines and to start mining in a central direction. Hey, look. There's one of our best friends that we can see through walls. Um, yeah, I want to go back downstairs. I want to start mining down in the lower levels, uh, sort of around where diamond would be. Hopefully so we can gain a bunch more experience for a few more things. Because mining, we need to get up to diamond level. I should be able to make some diamond tools. Um, but this is also going to require some more defenses, I think. Um, so some good defenses would be to take a little bit of wood... And I think the Spartan Shields is going to be one of our best bets. I'm very familiar with Spartan Shields, and they are really, really good. Um, they do sort of have this, like, protection level that they talk about, uh, whereas these things are you're just kind of guessing, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I do know a bit about this. We have Gold Shields, which is not anywhere in that level at all. But I think the Iron one is going to be pretty decent. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Now that we have diamond we have the, and we have the ability to use them, let's go ahead and actually do so. So we should be able to craft this into a diamond pickaxe, in which we can now use because we have mining 16. Oh man, this is really great. Uh, we're, I feel like we're actually getting somewhere, which is really good. Um, we also need our bucket of water, which we have on us. I'll take a couple more torches. Um, and we I definitely probably need a bit more water because I know this is going to be a little tough on us because we're going to have to be near lava which will get us pretty hot so down the stairs here I have some lava also looks like we got a little friend here okay that I guess dwells in the lava get out of there Like we can hit him. <laughs> He's definitely in the lava. All right, and I think it died. Um, so yeah, what we need to do is I need to get above this somehow. So it looks like up there is definitely where we need to be. There are definitely some bad things up there though. Let's pick these up.
Yeah, there's definitely some bad characters up there. But we're about to make their day pretty bad. By doing this. Oh, yeah. They're not liking that. Not at all. So I don't know what that thing is right here. I think we hit it. That thing does not look friendly. Okay, let's place that here. Trying to get myself healed up a little bit, but we are taking significant fire damage. Oh, we're going to be taking some significant heat damage very soon. Now, let's get away from the lava for a moment. Ooh, we'll take a break in this water. <laughs> I don't even know if that's helping, because we are still standing by the lava. Wow, this is actually going to be pretty rough. Um, so, we can probably summon this guy. To be able to take this guy on, I don't even know if that's even doing anything to them, hitting them with a sword. I need to sneak away. Right? And this thing is going all kinds of crazy. All right. Okay, so that is working. Oh, those drop slimes. Oh, those are perfect then. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's place this in here. And what this will do is it'll allow us to break this obsidian now. We're just going to have to, you know, do our thing, wait, and wait for the obsidian to break. We do have a little bit of obsidian, but we are still going to need a bit more. Okay, I noticed... Okay, so it did break. Perfect. Yeah, we're just going to have to sit here and mine through this. So we totally have enough obsidian. There was an extra obsidian up here. But before we go and before we even build this thing... Let's go ahead and make ourselves a brewing stand, as this thing is going to be very useful. Uh, we'll go ahead and convert this. We'll use one for the fuel, because we still need one for fuel. Um, we are going to need some glass. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take some glass. Oh, you know what? We actually can do this because we need nether wart, don't we? Oh, man. I thought we were going to get lucky and just be able to jump right in. But no, we need nether wart, which we can get from fishing. Hmm. But I'm assuming we'll have to do a lot of fishing before we get that, because I've only gotten normal fish. Well, at least we know we can do this in the future. So I guess when we go in there, we'll see actually how bad this place is. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty bad. So I've already got myself prepped up. Um... Let's go ahead and make ourselves flint and steel. And we really don't want to get trapped in there. <laughs> but I can see that happening. Hopefully we get a good spawn. That would be very lucky of us if we did. So I will bring some cobblestone. Uh, as we want to make sure to make a place for us to protect ourselves. We have a couple pickaxes. I will leave my diamond pickaxe here as we do not need it. Um, and I will take this and my shield and our summoning staff. And with that, we should be okay. I think. I think. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go ahead and check out what this nether is going to be like. I'm going to go up on the second floor, or third floor here. And for some reason, that got reset. That should refix it. And I'm going to be placing the portal right here. Two, three. It actually needs to go up one more. Which means it's going to go into the floor here. And I am, I am super scared to go in here. Guys, 
You know what? Just to be safe, let's grab some bandages. Because <laughs> I just imagine immediately walking in and being completely destroyed. You guys have man uh, messaged me and uh, made sure to let me know that there are other bandages. Ones that like heal 30% of your health and things like that. That we can use rock crystals for. But oh my. Is this just terrifying in itself. Deep breath. Prepare for the worst. And we're going to jump in with just iron armor. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh, we spawned in a cave. This could not be the worst spawn ever. What in the world kind of spawn did we get? Oh my no. Uh, this is a, this is a nope, nope. Nope spawn is what this is. I think it's because we built it so high up. Is why. Oh, man. Um, and we, of course, need to definitely make sure we have this on us. We are so high up that I don't know how we're going to get down. Yikes. Um, we need to find out where this bridge is fully on the top here and make our way through because <laughs> otherwise we are at a dead end and we're probably be better off just remaking an entire new portal. Is this a cave? Oh, good. At least we have a cave here. Still leads us to a dead end. And we're already on fire, guys. Like, this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, man. Okay, so. When it comes to the nether, I just don't think we're ready yet. <laughs> I think we might be able to obtain nether wart via the overworld by looting a building by chance. If so, that would help us out. But if we look at Tuffet's Nails, the only thing that can really help us is this cooling coil. Um, and I don't know if this goes on us. Or what? But the cooling coil is one of those things that should help us. I think. I would also think that this gelled slimy stuff would help us too. But what I'm seeing is we could get ice cubes. The only way I know to get ice cubes is to break ice. And you have a chance of getting ice cubes once ice is broken. And we did get some ice from some mobs. And I think this is actually packed. No, this is regular ice. So there's an ice cube. There's an ice cube. We need one more. Oh, man. And there's an ice cube. Okay, so making a cooling coil requires four of them and we don't have four of them nor do we have silk touch so we're kind of at a dead end right here because of that huh so what's going to pre help prepare us for going into this i mean the only thing we're going to be able to do is we can't bring water with us because water won't help us the only thing we can do is just go in and just continue to go back and forth and hope that nothing bad kills us while we're in here because that would be rough. Um, 
Did that reset our water by doing that? I think it did. Yeah, I think maybe going across here is definitely a decent idea. Of course, we have the bushes in our eyes. But I think this will at least get us to the other side and hope there's no lava up here. Oh man, this is like super sketchy. So sketchy. And of course our temperature's just going skyrocketing right now. As that doesn't help any. Maybe we can start going down at this point. Oh yeah, we're definitely on fire. And we lose water quickly. It's like at what point though do we actually catch on fire? Okay, right around there. Okay. Is it netherrack though that's catching us on, on fire? We need to figure that out, because we might just replace it with cobblestone if that's the case. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we have hyperthermia. Hyperthermia, not hypothermia. Woo! It is too hot for this boy. Going down is way safer than going up, because lava doesn't work too well going up. So we're definitely on a platform somewhere. That noise doesn't sound good at all. Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, ugly spider immediately gave us wither. Okay. We don't need to be over here. We can block this off. I will, however, go down here. Look at that. We can get ourselves some of this going. Yeah, this is not going to work. So let's break that. I think going down that way is going to be the way to go, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, we can't venture very far. As you can already see, we are desperately on fire. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You were, it's pitch black, you were likely to be eaten by something. Oh, also there's the Gru, Gru in here. Okay. All of that sounds horrifying. And this by far is probably the worst nether I've been in by far. You think the overworld is sketchy? Yeah, this is worse so far. You know what, there was a diamond block up here, I remember. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I totally forgot about there being a diamond block there. And that gives us more diamond stuff. Oh my. Well guys, I think it's gonna be a good time for us to do some more fishing. Um, so I'll be definitely doing some AFK fishing between this episode and next. Um, hopefully it won't get me killed. Um, that would be a good thing not to do, is to die. But guys, we got diamond today. Woo! <laughs> we are going somewhere with a diamond pick, guys. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as you've been giving all these episodes amazing support. 
and also click that subscribe button and uh, ring that notification bell. I really do appreciate it if you guys would do that. Also, I don't forget, I have a Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, we have an awesome community over there. Almost 8,000 strong at this point, and probably by the time that you join, it, we will be over 8,000. Um, also, I do stream over at Twitch. Just a little bit of a plug. If you didn't know, I am probably either live streaming now or will be live streaming by the time you watch this. So uh, be sure to check that out. And if I'm not live streaming, be sure to ring that follow button over there as well. Uh, guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>